to them all the time. Oh, there. The key oh, with elevators is making sure you get a, um, nice with the hydraulics, oh, you want something you want as fast as possible, or you can tell bedtime stories between oh, floors. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there a particular model that you put in uh, uh, Any of your build on your line? So, there, so some models have like, so like this model has a dual staircase. Right? See how it's a dual staircase? It has a switch back stair here and a right. switch back stair here. So this is absolutely, infinitely easy to put a, an elevator in, right? Because you could take out one of the stairs that you have a dual staircase and put it in, you know, your most optimal. Well, it's somewhere between wanting to install it and wanting to be rough it in. Yeah. Make sure that I can do it in the, in the future. Right. So the keys are, one, the concrete slab has to be poured depressed. So when the elevator cap goes yeah. down, you're not jumping out of the cap to get to the floor. Yeah. Right? You want it right. to travel all the way down. And you need to put a, um, uh, in the pit, you need to have a, uh, a drain. Okay. Um, and then, really, it's in the lower level, you need space behind where that, I'm just call it the closet is, because the closet would stack, right? right? So you can get the elevator equipment adjacent to it. Right. And then, uh, other than that, between floors, what you want to do is, you want to be able to, A, uh, the floor joists, you right. want to hang them so they can be easily removed, right, without right. affecting structure. And if you're adjacent to hardwood, you want to take, you want to make sure you, you put a transition piece at the door, so you're not having to. So when you it. come back later, you don't. Yeah, yeah. So but just a little good. common sense, uh, but it's uh, it's it's an easy practice for right. uh, for builders to do. That's what I'm